Dinosaur Feathers in Amber, A Tale Trapped in Time, 2016. It was a jewel of death, golden, translucent, and humming with ancient silence. In a market in Myanmar, among trinkets and talismans, a piece of amber caught the eye of a paleontologist. At first glance, it looked like a curiosity, a tangle of delicate feathers frozen mid-motion. But this was no bird. It was a tail, long, slender, and unmistakably reptilian, a dinosaur's tail, preserved in resin for 99 million years. The feathers were soft, downy, and complex, layered in patterns that shimmered under the microscope. They weren't the stiff quills of modern birds, but something stranger, something transitional. This was not a fossil pressed into stone. This was flesh, bone, and keratin, preserved in three dimensions, as if the creature had only just vanished. The tail belonged to a juvenile coelurosaur, a cousin of the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex. It had died in agony, perhaps caught in tree sap while fleeing a predator or struggling to escape a trap of its own making. The resin had entombed it, sealing its final twitch in amber, preserving not just its form, but its story. And that story rewrote everything. For centuries, dinosaurs had been imagined as scaly, lumbering beasts, cold-blooded titans of a lost world, and that they might have been more similar to birds than previously thought. This revelation changed the way we view these ancient creatures, sparking new interest and research in paleontology, warm-blooded and far more bird-like than reptilian. The line between dinosaur and bird blurred, then vanished. The monsters of prehistory had not gone extinct. They had taken flight. Every pigeon, every crow, every sparrow became a ghost of the Jurassic. But the amber held more than feathers, it held blood vessels, pigment, even traces of iron, perhaps the last breath of hemoglobin. It was a biological time capsule, a relic of a vanished world so perfectly preserved it defied belief. And it raised a chilling possibility. If DNA fragments remained, could they be extracted, reassembled, revived? The echoes of Jurassic Park rang louder than ever. But this was no fantasy. This was real, and it was horrifying. Because the amber didn't just preserve a creature, it preserved a moment of death. A child of the Cretaceous, struggling in vain, its feathers matted with resin, its body slowly suffocating in golden sap. It died alone, unseen, unburied, and yet it endured, its agony suspended in time, its beauty fossilized in horror. The tale in amber is not just a marvel, it is a wound in the fabric of time, a glimpse into a world that once was, and a reminder that extinction is not silence, but a scream frozen in resin.